No more keeping it a secret. We all know the old saying, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. But not anymore. Not this time. Um, have you heard of the YouTubers Bread Gang? I have, mate, yes. Uh, well, are they like an imp- inspired unemployed or? Uh, kind of, but different. Uh, they've got their own sort of like social channels. They go out and they do videos. Normally outside nightclubs and, you know, go to certain and different towns all over the world now, in fact. Right. And just interview people while they're out and have maybe been on the drink. Ah, okay. Mm. Well, that would make sense Um, because they've been in Vegas. Right. They went to Vegas for a week. Mm -hmm. Now, I remember years ago when I actually went to Vegas, I was going to be going for five days and a a friend of mine who is a mad partier said to me, oh, Dal, you're going to die. (laughs) <laughs> like, I know you. I know what you're like. You won't cope more than two days. He was right. Um, but these guys have been banned from five casinos because they were drunken maniacs the whole time they were there. Mm-hmm. Um, they got arrested and they reckon they even got robbed at gunpoint. Now, sadly, I've been to Vegas. Mm. I don't really have any crazy out there stories. I was there with my wife. It was part of our honeymoon. Yep. I mean, we went out. We did a few casinos. Yes, we ended up having a few drinks, maybe a few too many, having some champagne at breakfast, that kind of stuff. But... Nothing really crazy or out of the ordinary happened. I mean, had I been there on a boys' trip, mm. I dare say I would have a few stories to tell. I went for my 30th birthday. Right, so yeah. I was in Vegas for my 30th, and I had a list of 30 before 30 things, much uh-huh. like the 40 before 40 list we created. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and one of them was to get married in Vegas. Okay. So I ended up spending some time with a friend's friend who actually lives in the States. Oh, hang on. I think I remember this story. Yes, but continue. I know it's a good one. He got down on one knee and proposed in a nightclub and all that. Like, we had a bit of fun. We didn't actually get married. Yeah, we that's We thought right. about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it just so turns out that he is the son of Bobby Hatfield from The Righteous Brothers. Yes, that sing <laughs> this song. Oh, my love. Of course, from a Patrick Swayze movie. Mm, you I'm lo- ghost, mate. You, you love Patrick Swayze. I do. And you hooked up with the lead singer's... Son in Vegas. Now that is a story to tell. I think it's the one time in our lives where you may actually be able to outdo me with a story. Really? Yes. So it's nothing crazy. Well, it just ends up being some dude with a famous dad. Okay. Well, all I can tell you is I slept with my wife in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that exciting, is it? 